So today I'm out in the field uh, where there's another train station on this uh, Utah Northern. There's actually no map of this place um, that we've been able to find so far. Uh, I got an email out to the Union Pacific Railroad because they essentially purchased all these railroad rights and I've not heard back from them yet. Hopefully they've got plat maps showing where all the buildings are at and everything. Anyway, found a few things so far. Got a big old lump of lead. Got this interesting, uh, I want to say it might be off a, I don't know, a lantern or something? I got no idea. It's, it's, I think it's pewter. And it does have some designs on it. Like a zigzag and then diamond right there. So, um, this same railroad uh, in the early, uh, about 100 years ago, just over 100 years ago, was uh, this bed was eventually used for a electric car rail that ran from uh, Ogden to Logan. And I think further north than that. So this is probably from that electric uh, the, the about 100 years ago. So that's a lot of wire. And then uh, from the original one, 1871, the northern, uh, the Utah Northern Rail, I found another piece of fish plate. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully I can find a complete one of those out here. I'd like to find one of the plates that went on the uh, railroad sleeper and secured the rail. <coughs> Excuse me. The only ones I've found so far have been for the, uh, the electrical rail. Uh, the other things I've found out here, you'll see, I found a lot of this. There's bits of brick from the station that used to be out here. Uh, let me see, where's some other brick? Of course, now all the brick disappears. There's plates. There's a plate right here. I think that's a 15 on that, so I might be... 1915 that was put together that was made and there's more plates oh, here you go here's the other plates over here there's some coal whatever you um yeah there's two more plates right there and then i saw another one somewhere anyway but there's brick out here there's plates out here lots of iron oh there's the other plate right there um I'm sure somebody who's artsy crafty could figure out something with these. Um, the fact that there's not much rust on them wouldn't take much to sandblast them. But anyway, that's uh, that's where I'm at today. <sighs> that's where I'm at today. So I'm gonna head down that way a little bit. There's a lot of found a lot of square nails and glass over that way. So. Um, that might have been where they were throwing stuff away. I don't know. But the building was definitely in this area. Did have a siding too. Uh, one, uh, a spur, a siding on the north side of the main line. And there is a, uh, a raised bit right here. So I'm wondering if this has anything to do with the railroad or if it's just natural, um, natural, uh, uh, just what I'm looking for, terrain. I don't know. But anyway, I'll be out here for a little bit. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. Uh, it's a beautiful day. A little bit hazy. The visibility is 10 plus miles. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Look at it. Social distancing. I don't think there's anybody within a, a mile of me. So, alright. Talk to you in a little bit. See ya. Bye. Okay, I'm getting close to where we were finding square nails on the surface when the property owner and I did a walkabout a couple of weeks ago. And I just got this. I almost discarded it. It looks like it says Watkins Old Cream. I'm judging this is probably uh, early 20th century. That's cool though. But like I said, I almost threw it away until I saw lettering on it. Thinking it was a uh, can slaw, which technically I guess it is. It's just a hundred years old. So that's cool. I'll put that in the uh, pouch and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Digging along and I got another piece of the uh, narrow gauge rail, not complete. Uh, I'm sure there are more pieces here. There's a piece of uh, telegraph. There's glass everywhere, glass and square nails. That's part of a telegraph. Uh, 
insulator. But I've got that right there. It's going in the bag with me. But I just dug this. Don't know what it is. It's a bag seal. Oh, it's a bag seal. Check that out. UP Railroad, Union Pacific Railroad. Oh, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Wow. I think the only ever dug, uh, bag sale I've ever dug in the United States was out in North Carolina. That is absolutely amazing. Wow. There you go, Union Pacific Railroad bag seal. I'll take that. Well, I haven't moved 10 feet. I got another bag seal. At UPRR. That's cool. That's very cool, actually. So, there we go. Two bag seals, all within 10 feet of each other. Better GPS this location, because I'm sure I'll be back. Brilliant. A bit of purple glass. Okay, so, I'm going to wonder if you can even see it in the picture right now. I just dug this. It's a little attachment. It looks like it might have some, I don't know, it might have some writing on it. I'm not sure. But, while I was digging this, I got another signal. For my, while I was getting ready to dig the hole for that. And can you see it? Can you see it now? That's an Indian head sitting on the surface. On the surface. So, what we're going to do is we are going to take a photo of that as it is. And then we will pick it up and see what it is. You ready? Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's an Indian head. Yeah, that's an Indian head. I can't read the date. But there you go. That is brilliant. Nice. Very happy with that. That was right about there. Very cool. All right, <laughs> I think I'm in a good spot. What do you think? Two bag seals and an Indian head. I wonder what else is out here. I knew there had to be Indian heads out here. It had to be a coin or something with this amount of glass and square nails. Had to have been. I suspect this is probably an area where they were throwing stuff off the, uh, the rail after inspecting stuff, I suspect. So, all right, I'll talk to you in a little bit. See ya, bye. So here I got a signal, um, absolutely brilliant signal. I got no idea what it is, it's in the plug. Of course my luck it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a bottle lid, a bottle cap. Darn it, that's not what we're looking for. Hasn't been that much trash out here actually, so. But, oh well, I guess that's what happens. Live dig and uh, the metal detecting gods decide to have a joke with you. All right, we're gonna keep looking again. Surface find well, the machine found it, but that's off a set of uh, coveralls. I'm suspecting very cool. Looks like I'm in the right spot. Okay, let's keep looking. Got another good signal here. And uh, don't know what it is, so let's see. Could be a shotgun shell, I don't know. It's round. I think I can take my glove off for this one. Hey, never bag seal. That one's got no, oh, does it? Nothing on it, so it's probably never used. Where it does. 
very faint I'm not sure that's cool I'll take it okay I gotta remind myself I'm not a Raro fanatic but I have to admit I am very happy to have found a complete fish plate to the uh, 70 to the uh, 1871 narrow gauge that was here now I just need to find a piece of complete rail I'll be very happy so that's cool that's very cool looks like I'll be heading out of here with some iron today <sighs> such is life all right talk to you in a little bit so I got another good signal here Let's see what we got ah the inglorious lead all right let's keep looking I've got a signal here so I got a signal here That's a rivet. Nice. Here you go. One rivet. Very cool. And I've just noticed something else that I need to uh, address, so to speak. You'll just bear with me while I secure that. There we go. Can't quite read what that says. Something, something, something. C O H M L I M. I don't know, and company something. It's like an H, I'm not sure. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out when we get home. So that's cool. I'll take that too. That's a piece of purple glass too. You know, I'm like a glass, I'm like a damn magpie picking all the shiny stuff up. Ugh. I usually end up with mason jars full of glass from everywhere I go. So, all right, all right, let's keep looking. Case of close but no cigar because this is probably the closest I will ever come to a hutch bottle. <laughs> to ever finding one should I say that is out of a hutch man I sure would like to have found that bottle wow this is unbelievable now I've got part of a pocket watch the internal working parts that is amazing hopefully the rest of it's out here it's usually this is the part you don't find Usually it's the other part that you find. You know, the outer parts. That's brilliant. My pocket is absolutely full of glass. I found, uh, I found three bottle tops so far. All early ones. I mean early, probably late 1870s or something like that. So, all right, let's search this area. Hopefully the plow didn't move it too far away from... Uh, the rest of it and uh, maybe we'll find the the rest of this pocket watch all right and just like that took a break oh there's a narrow gauge spike brilliant um prop unit popped by on his atv we just went for a ride <coughs> um i'm going to show you a photograph of an embankment and uh, the embankment was so steep it wasn't exactly the uh, best place to try and do video while climbing up and down. Anyhow, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get back to digging here. And because uh, I emptied my pocket out of glass, which I picked up and stuff. I think there's writing on that one. No, there's not. Okay. And uh, let's get back to seeing what we can find. While we're out walking around, it's over by my bag, which is back behind me. Um, I found part of a grinding stone. Uh, it's my first uh, grinding stone, be it incomplete, but I will take it. Quite happy. Oh, I better not lose those, huh? Bloody hell. 
So, all right, well, we'll get back with you. Talk to you in a little bit. See ya. Bye. <laughs> wow, that's huge. Looks like it was unused too. Brilliant. I'll bring that home with me. I always enjoy finding the ones that haven't been used, like the ones that were, I guess, lost before use. So that's cool. And again, this is probably as close as I'll ever get to a hutch bottle, finding one. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So two, uh, I guess you'd call them the stoppers to hutch bottles. At least I know what they are. I've watched enough uh, adventure archaeology and bottle digger Dave to uh, know what the hell I'm looking at when I see those. That's cool. I'll take it. I know what that is because I've dug one of these and seen them dug before. This is part of a crow's foot by Chromate Battery. That would have been used for telegraph station. That's brilliant. That was almost on the surface. You see the why well, it's called the crow's foot because it held these uh, um, prongs that stuck out or arms or legs. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, I will post a photo of what one of these things look like at the end of the video. Very cool. All right, I'm almost to the truck. Let's just dug a toe tap. It's very cool. Well, I'm heading home. I haven't found this much stuff. Be it iron, non-iron, glass, in such a long time. I'm gonna do a recap when I get back home. And what have you. And uh, also show uh, photographs of uh, some of the things we've been talking about. Excuse me. Woo! Man, I've only been out here four hours. I found a lot of stuff. And I know there's more stuff to be found. In the past, the farmers uh, plowed over these uh, stations, as is evident from the first one that uh, Andrew and I looked for. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's your first time watching, my videos please consider subscribing if you liked it hit the like button if you didn't like it hit the unlike button and uh, feel free to make comments and uh, share it with anybody you think might be interested uh, anyway um, yeah I'm heading home appreciate you coming along I'll do a uh, recap like I said and uh, I'll see you then talk to you in a little bit see ya bye alright folks quick recap time back at the house uh, I'm not showing all the glass I found um, anyway uh, let's start with the iron there's all the uh, fish plate pieces I found that's the complete one that I found all right that's part of the uh, narrow gauge rail horse bit part of a lynch pin this is your uh, piece here that has the uh, UN on it for Utah Northern uh, these pieces come to the later railroad and the name escapes me uh, but it was electron it was electric cars but they're both associated with about a hundred years ago this is associated with a hundred and fifty years ago now actually 149 years ago next year would be 150 um, big old horseshoe that I found is some of the uh, the glass which I felt was noteworthy. A couple of bottoms here. This one has HCW on it. This is and Company LIM. I'll have to look that up. We all know the C Conrad and Company, so somebody had Budweiser out there. And then here's your uh, bottle tops to include a really nice blob top right there. Applied top. Nice piece of purple glass. And then there's the two um, hutch bottle cork pieces, stopper pieces, lump of lead, mystery item with the uh, markings on it, there's your crow's foot, um, part of the bichromate battery, again I'll post a picture of what that should look like at the end of this, that's part of your insulator for your telegraphs, this one actually has Brookfield 
Cliff, New York. Um, Watkins, Old Cream. These are not baggage tags. It's been identified to me that these are actually fuel tags. So it would say Union Pacific Railway, and that is the engine number when it was getting fuel. So that's 206C, 206B, 206D, or it might be just 206, I don't know. I'll have to look up and see if I can find a photograph of that engine. That would be cool if I can. Pocket watch, I believe, or something like that. Engine head penny, mystery piece of lead, no idea what it is. Iron spoon, pieces. That looks like it might have some markings on it. Toe tap and your um, rivet and another spoon and a perforated piece of metal. My favorite piece is part of a grinding stone. Very happy with that. So appreciate you coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. I will get photos of these taken, post at the end of this video, along with some other photographs that we talked about. And I appreciate you coming along again. If you have uh, not subscribed, please consider it. If you are new to the channel, hope you like it. And if you don't like it, you go right ahead and say you don't like it. And if you want to post a comment, please post a comment. And if you feel like sharing with your buddies, feel free to share. Until the next hunt, happy hunting and good luck. And we'll see you out there. See ya. Bye.